Well, I'm at the uh, Barren uh, Chapel up on the Barren Mountain, uh, way, way up from where, from where I was a child, looking way back into the distance down towards the sea, is uh, where I was born, brought up, a little village called Clidach. Set off with the dog early one morning on an adventure up over the mountains. Uh, came to uh, some standing stones in the middle of the mountain of the Barren, and then came across this chapel, which was derelict then, and uh, managed to go in through uh, one of the back windows, I took the dog in, and on one side of the chapel was a great ingle nook, a fireplace, and the congregation in the winter would rotate uh, one pew, and they would move out and go in by the fire, and get warm, and then another would replace them, and um, they had their own academy here, where they trained men for the ministry, right up on the mountains here, and they established other chapels in the surrounding area, and uh, way back in time, uh, 50 emigrated to America from here, and uh, the Baron Chapel, so it's an amazing, amazing uh, spot here, and uh, just shows something of a history in Wales, doesn't it, the uh, dynamic faith for men to uh, establish churches in these barren areas, uh, up in these remote uh, hillsides. So yeah, so this is, so I'm hoping to get some painting done of this now later, I'll uh, get back and uh, get the right uh, perspective and uh, enjoy myself with this. So, um, <clears throat> out of the wind, I'm up on the barren mountain, uh, which was was howling really. Um, I'm back in the comfort of my, uh, my study and um, so I'm going to get on and do a painting of the barren, the barren chapel. And um, <clears> the <throat> thing is, I want to get the sense of its setting. So I didn't want to get the chapel in that large and that much detail that I um, I would lose the sense of the wildness of the actual barren mountain. And um, it's that sort of atmosphere I'm wanting, or what it was like just up in those days, worshipping in mountains like this, up in the wilds. And um, so let's have a look here now. So I'm wanting a sort of atmospheric sky, really. I'm wanting something a bit uh, dark towards the top, that it's threatening with rain. And uh, and I think that might well do it there. I don't think we're much, we're much better than that, actually. And um, let's have a look here now. I want to get the suggestion of this uh, mountain in the background here. And again, sometimes it's too dark, and uh, sometimes you've got to feel your way. Now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bit of counter change here, where I'm going to have the light of this mountain against that bit of a dark sky by there, threatening sky. There we go. I think, I think that'll work, actually. Let's have a look here and bring that down a bit later. So I've got that nice sense of of counter change. You could do it doing even lighter again, really. But that will that will do. And don't want to labour it at this stage. But that, that that that'll be it. And see if I can get the the other mountains in now while. Uh, so have a look here now. Yeah. It's sort of autumn colours now, where you get a lot of these russet colours and what have you um, in the mountains. Um, so we'll just uh, let's get that. And the uh, problem with acrylic, they can get so easily become garish, and you've got to be toning it down and. Uh, and uh, there we go, I think. Uh, that'll work all right there, I think. So I might get a bit of dark against there. Just get that to drop down there. A bit more, a bit more definition there. That, that works well. That's, that's great. And then what we'll do, we'll get, um, get this in as well. Oh, I want that with, 
There we are. So it's come to change all the time, darks against light. And you've got um, a bit of a drop here in the terrain coming down here to what is the source of the River Clidach, which is up behind the Baron Chapel, a uh, river that flowed behind our house where we grew up as children. And uh, <laughs> the, the field behind our house is on a slope. And we were playing football. Invariably, it would end up uh, in the river. And we'd be chasing the football down the river to try and, try and retrieve it. But uh, there we go. So we're up at the source of the River Clidach. And uh, I think really that might well do just uh, just for for now. I can build on these colours again and get some more definition in the chapel, uh, the chapel itself. And uh, what I wouldn't mind doing is just getting the light. I want the light to catch the the roof here of the chapel. And it's all about a suggestion of light. Um, this side of the building would be catching the light. It's south facing. It would be getting uh, all the sun in a, on a really fine day or when the sun breaks through. So we, 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 I think that might just do for now. Now, I need to get the other side of the building in shadow. And again, you you know, you play in all of these. Come back, you, you, you fine tune them. And all you're looking for at this stage, basically, is the shape. That is the right shape, the composition is right, and uh, in terms of perspective, all the, um, the lines are running true. Now you've got yew trees up here, very dark. So I need to get, I need to get them in here now. Let's have a look here. Yeah, see, you now see that that will make the light of that building really stand out. You got the wall here. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, so yeah, that's I'm pretty happy with with that. And what I can do now is get the wall in. So uh, let's have a look. You know, there we go. Just comes up about as far as there. Uh, interesting graves actually there. Um, uh, there's one of, of a man killed underground, a young, young lad. If I remember, I think it says, um, boast not of tomorrow, nor call tomorrow thine. Thou mayst be snatched away by sudden death like mine. So there's all those sort of uh, things on the... See, I'm just, see, how, see the difference that makes now, getting that sharp edge there. And of course, you've got the outside steps going into the gallery upstairs. And let's get the darks around these yew trees here. And now it's the foreground. We'll lighten that up more. So um, let's get the... Uh, where the grass is sort of all going back here. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that, that's him. That's him. There we are. We'll lighten that, of course. You have some farmer's fields here. So I've got a different colour of green. More the, with the blue, I've added more blue to it. Hmm. Right, okay, let's have a look here. So again, you're just blocking in at this stage. The path is, paths are great. Paths are a stream. They can lead into a painting. And, um, yeah. And now what we got here is the, the path with a bit of uh, grass in, in, in the middle of the, of the path there. Actually, when you when you set off down in the car, you think, where on earth uh, are we going, you know? But um, there we are. Now, some of it is the grass is quite green, distinctive green uh, at the edges here. And again, I'm going to come on and build on all of this, as you'll see in the finished painting. But um, But again, I just want everything in place for now. 
let's get um, the actual path in that goes in on the track rather than a path not sure like lead in and again see yes it's you're leading to what is the focal point and we'll get our light this light there now darkest dark so it will lead into there but uh, you can see more or less where where I'm after in all this now you've got a lot of gorse so let's get some gorse in and again with the gorse you, you put it more or less where you want it you you, you think well what will make a good design it's um, hasn't going to be where it is where you're looking at it but um so there we go so i think a little bit by there and by there cast shadow see is great they'll cast a shadow up there you've got a little bit of gorse and on the edge there to break that transition from um and we're almost done here at this stage can't really do much more than this now Till, um, have a bit, I normally have a bit of coffee at this stage and come back to it fresh and just touch up here and there and it's surprising just a few touches and it all just comes uh, it all comes to life then quite amazingly really it's uh, you'd be surprised how how um, yeah all of that just a little bit of light I think a little bit of light up here to um, let's have a look here get the sense of light up here that, that's better I'm happier with that yep yep this is where you see when you build on a thicker paint the second time it just um good it's, it's great it just comes off then like that so you've done better than that you know for the the second one that's but you can see more or less now where where we're going with the chapel on the barren mountain well um here's the finished painting of uh, the barren chapel uh very roughly done of course it's a small painting i do a large one from but uh, i wanted to capture the sort of wildness of the setting uh, up there in the barren mountain um the original chapel was just above our village on a mountain called Gechionen, a puritan chapel known as children as the white chapel then it went Unitarian and a group left there, crossed a few mountains to the Barren Mountain. But the chapel was originally called Paran, but um, then became known as the Barren because of where it's situated. And I just tried to recapture um, what it was like years ago when I first came across this chapel in the middle of nowhere and the sort of wildness of, um, of its setting. So there we are, that's the um, Baron Chapel. Put a few sheep in, just digitally placed here and there. Uh, give a bit of life. And uh, there's always sheep up there, by the way. And um, there we go.